Hey guys, Manny here with Hillside Honda, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the 2011 Honda CRV EXL with the navigation system. I'm going to tell you a couple of reasons why I think that this car is perfect for you. The first thing is, it's a very stylish vehicle. The second thing is, it's an extremely safe vehicle. And the third thing is, it's an exceptional value. It's the best compact SUV that's on the market, in my opinion, fantastic. First of all, I want, to take it, you know, I want you to take a look at the styling of the vehicle. If you notice the styling of the vehicle, it's very sporty, yet it's extremely elegant. It's the best of both worlds, really. You notice the headlamps. Angled, very stylish, very aggressive. Gives it you know, that sports car kind of quality without really being a sports car. On top of that, you also have these excellent chrome accents. And it, you know, it builds to that luxurious feel that the car has. It's still elegant and still very sporty. And it's got that big Honda emblem letting you know you're driving a fantastic product. Top of that, you have that honeycomb grill. Again, adding to the sportiness of the vehicle, unless you know you're still in an SUV. On top of that, if you take a look at right here, you can integrate fog lamps right here. Pre-cut already, so you can just slide those fog lights in and uh, just make it look great right out of the box. Underneath the hood, I'm gonna show you what really makes a Honda neat. And it's that ease of use. You never have to worry about you know, what's going on underneath the hood. Myself, I don't really, you know, understand a whole lot about underneath the hood. But with the Honda, it's really simple because everything's color indicated and the receptacles are clear. So if you're running low on windshield wiper fluid, you don't know where, you know, where to look for it. You don't know what's going on. Hey, real simple, look at that. And it's color keyed. So you, you look underneath the hood, you know pretty much where everything is. You know, your windshield wiper fluid, your brake fluid, power steering fluid. All that's you know, color keyed so you know exactly where it is and it's their clear receptacle so you know if it's running low. Engine oil, everybody's like, oh, where did I check the engine oil? It's actually very easy. It's bright orange, you can't miss this thing. Um, not that you're gonna have to do a whole lot of work underneath these because it's a maintenance free uh, engine. 100,000 miles, no scheduled tune-ups and that's amazing. Keeping with that maintenance free theme, this is a maintenance free battery. And what's great about the maintenance free battery is it actually has an indicator light right here. And you can actually notice that when you're looking at it, it's going to let you know if it's OK or if a charge is necessary in that vehicle. On top of that, like I mentioned before, it's an extremely safe vehicle. You have standard equipment, anti-lock braking system with the vehicle stability assist. And what's great about an anti-lock braking system is the fact that if you ever push on the brakes, your brakes are not going to lock up on you. So if you have somebody just stop abruptly in front of you, press on those brakes, you're going to feel a little patter. And what the patter is is the brake pad basically tapping the, the disc a little bit like that, and it's not gonna allow it to, to lock on you. And in conjunction with that, it serves with a vehicle stability assist. And what vehicle stability assist is gonna do for you is that, let's say you go into a corner and you accelerate it a little bit too quickly. It's gonna regulate the throttle uh, in conjunction with a couple of other things, but it's gonna allow you to maintain on the intended course that you originally had in mind. Uh, and you know, that's fantastic, especially if you're in inclement weather. On top of that, this vehicle is built with something that's called uh, ACE body structure, which is advanced compatibility engineering. And what's neat about the advanced compatibility engineering is in the event of a front end collision, it's going to redistribute the force of the impact around the side of the vehicle and away from the cabin. And that's fantastic because you can't beat something like that. Toward the side of the vehicle, I just want to illustrate this right here. These are 17 inch alloy wheels. And what's great about the alloys, and everybody always asks me, well, what's the difference between an alloy, a wheel cover, or steel wheels? It's performance and durability. And why performance? They're lightweight. They're a lot lighter than steel wheels. Uh, so it's going to improve the performance of the vehicle. On top of that, it's actually a lot more durable than the steel wheels or even those wheel covers. And you know what? They look great also. So that's some of the reason you want to get those on there. If you look at the side right here, these are breakaway mirrors. Neatest thing about the breakaway mirrors is the fact that if you're in a crowded parking lot or let's say you're parking on the street, uh, maybe a bike messenger comes, hits, the, you know, hits it. Usually, on a lot of cars, you're going to see that this is actually mounted onto the pillar and it's immovable. What's great is somebody hits it from the side, no problem. So anytime somebody hits your vehicle, you don't have to necessarily go out and buy a brand new mirror. And that's, you can't beat that either. On the side here, you have a reinforced steel beam that runs across the side of the vehicle. And the nice thing about the reinforced steel beam is, again, it's a very safe, uh, very safe feature that in the event of that side impact collision, it's going to protect the, you know, the occupants and, and the passengers inside the vehicle. So that's, you know, it's really nice. Follow me. Come on, take a look at this. If you notice, it's a very big windshield 
which is nice because it improves that visibility in the car. Uh, I don't know about you, but I love to have great visibility. I, know, I like to know where my surroundings are. And that's going to aid you in actually knowing what's going on in the rear of the vehicle. On top of that, you also have this really neat backup camera. And the backup camera, this is actually standard equipment on the EXL with the navigation. It's not an extra feature. It's not a, uh, an extra accessory. It's already built in. That's standard equipment. Second thing is, look at the lights. This is actually a staple for the CRV since its inception. Uh, I like it. It's a little retro vibe. It lets you know the heritage of the vehicle and where the vehicle's been, where it's going. I love it. It's really, really nice. Take a look. Follow me to the side. And this is actually my favorite part about the CRV. And what's fantastic about this is that it's 60 40 split folding seats. And the neat thing about the split seats is that, watch, fold it forward. There's a latch back here. Just pull that and tumble it forward. Now you're saying, well, what's good? You know, what good is that for me? It's actually really, really useful. You can actually have cargo space back here, put stuff into the back and allow yourself to you know, have some passengers as well as a lot of cargo room. And that's really why you look at a compact SUV as opposed to a sedan because you have more storage space in the vehicle itself. And uh, you know, it's something that I like a lot in this vehicle. And you could do that independently of each other. So if you want to you know, maybe have more cargo room on the other side, on the 60% side, you'd fold those forward and uh, you know, keep that as cargo and then just have this one as a you know, seating capacity. And it's actually very simple if you see how I do it touch of a button kind of thing. Pretty nice. Really neat. Follow me toward the inside of the vehicle. I want you to just kind of take this in for a second. You can't really get a feel for this until you sit down and actually test drive one. So I'd recommend you guys come do that. Uh, but if you take a look, it's actually very sleek. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel. And it, you know, it enhances that feel that you're in a luxury vehicle without having to pay the luxury bucks, which is nice. You have your audio controls mounted on the steering wheel, which is actually really nice because you don't have to fiddle around with the audio controls on the dash here. You have cruise control already mounted on the steering wheel, and it's also very easy because it's just pushing the button, and that's it. You also have Bluetooth integrated into this, and it's nice because now you, know, you don't have to be on your phone the whole time in the car and catch a ticket for that, so it's kind of nice. And you can't really appreciate it, but we have two buttons back here, and that's for the Honda hands-free link. And what's neat about that is that you can control the air conditioning, you can control uh, pretty much anything, the radio, the temperature of the vehicle. It's a really nice feature. And it, you know, it's standard equipment on the EXL with navigation, which is really nice. If you can tell right here, you also have a really nice look to this. This is actually very futuristic. You can actually see it's a maintenance minder system that's in the vehicle. And the great thing about that, again, you know what? I don't know when I have to change my oil. I don't know when my service is due. This car is going to let you know when that is actually due. There's going to be a little wrench that's going to indicate that you definitely need service on this car. And it's nice because, you know what? There's no more guessing. It's not a guessing game anymore. You can actually tell when you really have to change things in this vehicle. And it's neat. Um, toward here, I want you to you know, just take a look at the navigation system. And the navigation system is actually really neat. Um, it's got voice commands millions of points of interest and it's actually pretty neat see how that kind of folds out and folds in really really neat and you know you can do things uh, as far as points of interest Zagat rated restaurants I mean all kinds of things you're never gonna be lost with this thing and it's nice if you want a restaurant if you want a shopping center it's all built into here it'll let you know exactly where you need to go you have uh, dual climate control and nice thing about dual climate control is if you know if you have a partner or somebody else sitting in the, in the other seat and they want it warmer and you want it cooler or vice versa, you can easily do that without having to fight, oh my god, which one's colder, which one's warmer, which is really, really cool. You also have heated seats here, which is really, really nice. Uh, you know, if in the winter time, for those of us that live in the Northeast, uh, it's kind of nice. You know, you don't have to freeze your butt off. It's nice. Just press that button and you can actually, you know, warm the seats up, which is really, really neat. I want to take a look at this up here also. This is a one-touch power moonroof, and what's great about it is you're just going to press it back one time, and it'll fold all the way back, you know, it'll go all the way back, and if you press it forward, it'll also come straight forward, and that's really neat because it's an obtrusive, and it's a really, really cool feature. Also, you actually have standard airbags in this vehicle. You have one for the driver, you have one for the passenger, front airbags. You have side impact airbags, which you can't really appreciate, but they're on the side of the seats. And then you have curtain airbags that run across the side of the vehicle. So you have one for the driver, for the passenger, and also for the passengers in the front seat and the passengers in the rear seat. So that's pretty neat also. It's a very safe vehicle altogether.
I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough for the 2011 Honda CRV EXL with the navigation system. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact us uh, at hillsidehonda.com. Or if you have a question for me, you can contact me at askmanny at hillsidehonda.com. Thank you guys. Have a great day.